Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at the Google Play signing in and that one is a little bit complicated. Let me just pull it up real quick. I have it on my phone. That is our running Pingu. Really hard to see through this. Uh, and I have this button right here that just, oops, I misclicked. I have this button that just does the, um, the signing in part. So I'll just quickly die and show you that thing again. Right here. So when you click on it, you're going to launch the Google Play sign in and this is actually what's complicated. I know the reflection is not really good and then you just pick your account and eventually at the top of the screen you can see the little sign in. Now um, this thing doesn't always work as bad as it might sound. Um, when I went through adding this to the game sometimes it doesn't work and you don't really know why there's a bunch of shady error out there so I'm going to be helping you today fix those and that is why we have a whole um, episode dedicated to it. So before we go right into it, I'll just show you the code that you need to do um, before actually going to the, the, the debugging part, right? So at the very top of your code, like anywhere at the beginning of your game, you need to instantiate the Google Play services, which is what I do over here by saying playgameplatform.activate. This is the only call you need. You'll, you'll have a um, using statement at the top as well, if I remember. You have to do using Google Play Games and then you go ahead and in your wake or in your start, you're going to activate the Google Play platform. Then um, after that, what I do is I automatically check if I'm connected or not in case I reopen my app and I'm already connected. So this is just something I do on my end. You don't have to do it right away, um, but it's something I do. And uh, on connection response is one of my function, something I've made myself. Now, whenever you do want to connect, you're going to need to call this specific function. And if you've been on the web a little bit, if you're, you're running into those problems, you're going to be seeing this um, everywhere because this is, this is, you know, like where you start. And uh, this is also the function that causes a lot of problem because sometimes this Boolean is actually false and then you don't know why because it's a Boolean, right? It's not an error code. It's not a, it is simply a Boolean that has really no value to us in case it's false. So, um, you have to write down this code anywhere you want. Um, some people do it in the awake. As soon as you start the application, it tries to connect. I did it in a, in a button because I, I think it's a little bit better. So when you open the app, you don't have this black screen saying uh, which application, uh, sorry, which account do you want to use for Google Play services. I'd rather have the user press on the button and then have the action happen. But you know, that's really up to you. You can put that in the awake. And now um, after that, what I do is I only have two menus, two different menus. One of them is called connected menu and the other one's called disconnected menu. What I plan to do with these is quite simple, so I'll just open them up. You have uh, the menu over here, this one is connected, so there's two buttons and this one is disconnected, so there's only one button, that is the sign in button. Once we are uh, disconnected, you can only sign in and once you're connected, you'll have access to achievement, leaderboard, and so on. Alright, so how do we make this work? Um, well, like I said, you're gonna need this piece of code and then you're going to need to make sure that it actually returns a true. This is never going to work on your computer. Unfortunately, this is never going to work in the editor. As you can tell, you can see that a lot of things are being sent at the bottom here, like you, you do sign in Google Play services. Um, oh, that was an error right here. But if you try to sign in, you'll never get an actual true here. So you'll never actually be able to sign in since Google Play services is a additional application you have on your phones. Um, and you know, we, we don't have that on our computer. So you're going to have to build this to your phone to actually see if it works or not. Now, um, the cases where it doesn't work is when there is a uh, authorization that is not actually set properly. And that is because the, the certificate might be wrong. So what we'll be doing is I'll actually, um, help you guide you through what I did to make mine work. And we're going to switch over to this other monitor. And um, I'll give you the link in the description down below. So what you have to do is go in inside of your Google Play uh, console and find your services. So we've been through that last episode. You know how to make it work. I now have a new service because I had to test out a lot of stuff. Click on it. That is, this is, um, this is your new service. And then you have to go inside of the Google Developer Console API. Um, so it's going to be this link right here. This is also going to be in the description down below. Now, the reason it doesn't work is because your application, when it tries to connect, it actually goes through the OAuth client and the OAuth information might be wrong. So we're going to go over to um, the Google API and you're going to make sure to select the right project. So there might be a bunch of projects in there if you've been developing for a little while. Um, I know I do have. So I'm going to click on all, 
select running Pingu, which is my service that is automatically there. So you didn't have to create that. Once you linked your app in the uh, in the Google Play Store over here, once you did that here, so you link the app in the, the game services, it is going to create a, uh, a request automatically. So it's going to create this OAuth credential automatically. So once you have that selected, you're going to go under credential and here is your project. Clicked on it and this is your certificate. So this is actually what is causing um, your thing not to work. So you got to make sure you have the right package name. In this case, that is my package name. I can confirm by going in Unity. So over, over here, I need some keybinds for OBS. Um, you can go under build settings, player settings, and confirm that this is, of course, your bundle name. So that is my bundle name over here. Now, once that is completed, you are going to head back and actually make sure that we have the right certificate. And this is where it gets confusing because it might work um, locally, but it's not going to work on the Play Store and that can be also vice versa. So I'm going to explain that real quick. I'm on the Google Play Console over here. I'm going to go back, not even the game services, I'm going to go back in all my application, find my running Pingu, then head over to Release Management, go under the App Sign-In, and this is this is what's the great thing about it. So there is a app sign-in certificate and there's also a upload certificate. And note that when I say only work on my device, it's that because I'm building locally, I'm not building to the Google Play Store, I'm not uploading my APK yet to production. Uh, this is locally on my computer, I'm just doing the testing. When I do the testing, I can use the upload certificate. So over here, I copy this and I paste it in here. Make sure you remove the SHA-1, so that is my key. Now, um, once I actually publish this to the Google Play Store, I might have to use this one, because this is really confusing. I might have to use the SHA-1 here, the first one in the App Science Certificate. So I'll go here, click on Copy, and paste that instead. That might be something I have to do in the future, but right now, the one that works for me is the Upload Certificate, and I'm going to put that in here, make sure I click Save, and from there, and only from there, I will be able now to um, to run this on my device and actually have a different result. Now, there is also one thing that might enter conflict with this, and it is the uh, if you go under the your services, so game services, running Pingu, there is a setting somewhere, if I can remember, that has the uh, anti-piracy. So if you turn that off, uh, you'll have more chances of it working on your end, because if you don't turn it off and you try to connect without using your uh, APK you uploaded on Google Play, then it is definitely not going to work. Now, I'm not quite sure where it is. Oh, there it is. So under link to app, find your running Pingu app, and you're going to go down here. Make sure the anti-piracy is off. And if you want it on, then of course, wait until you are in production. Now, if you're going to go like me and like start redoing a little bit of your settings here on the Google Play Store, make sure that uh, this number over here, so this 6999, uh, for me over here, so my application ID is actually correct in Unity as well because you have to make that work on both ends. So here I am in Unity. I'm going to go under Window, Google Play Game, Setup, Android Setup. Make sure I change it here. Package name is still the same. I don't really have my achievement anymore, so I'm going to remove it. And that is it. You don't really need the web app client ID because you're not doing anything on behalf of your user in this application. So clicks it up and make sure everything is fine. At this point, you can finally build on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. I'm going to plug in my phone and then hit Control and B. So here we go. It is built on my phone. I'm going to swap over to the other webcam. First my stupid face, and also my application. It's a little bit hard to see again. Uh, I'm going to press on sign in. And it's already signed in actually because I was already signed in on my Google Play services on my phone right now. But if I wasn't, it would have popped my, um, my list of Google user I can use and then go straight into my game. But as you can tell, it worked because my logic says if it does work, if success is true, then pop up the connected menu which has those two buttons. And if it doesn't work, then just make sure it is off and we're on the disconnected menu. So I had this working. It took me a little while, to be honest. Like, it took me a, uh, a good amount of time to figure out why it wasn't working. Turns out it is some authorization request with having wrong certificate. 
So I could still connect, I could still like start the connection. I would see the menu, I would click on my good user, but then it would just eventually crash and that's because the, um, the certification of my app was not the same one as the Google OAuth, so they'd have a authorization request. And that's about it. So that's actually how we've been through uh, the Google Play signing in thing. In the next episode, we're going to be uh, first. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at Unity Ads. Again, a really simple thing. It's going to be taking less than five minutes, I think. And uh, then we'll move on to making some leaderboard uh, achievements and finally the Google Play save. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please join us on the Discord. So we have the Discord going on. Join us in these challenges as well. We need some people to join. There is some money prize. There is some promotion prize. And uh, just a good deal of fun with a cool people. Thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you guys um, later. Cheers.